All right, today we're gonna to take apart the headlight. I got a new wiring harness for the truck and with it came new headlight pigtails. As you can see, the original cloth covered ones are pretty beat. Cloth is just like dust and the wires are exposed. So that's a problem. I also got new uh, rubber grommets, um, you know, to cover the wire. And I think the headlight bucket is in good shape. These things, I mean, they go, they're they like 60 or so bucks to replace them, uh, but I think it's solid. I might just clean it up a little bit. So first step, I took some of the bolts out already, is there's one bolt down here that removes this trim ring. And you take that out, just a long sheet metal screw, kind of long. Um, you might have to give it a little pry because it kind of snaps in. And then the whole thing pops off. Rubber gasket in there, which I may go ahead and replace too. That looks pretty tired. We'll put that aside. Don't lose the screw. Then there's this retaining ring that holds the light bulb in the housing. And there's screws, which I already took out. These little screws here that go in three spots around this thing. And then those are adjuster angle adjusters, which adjust where the beam shines. But I got those, those out and this thing should come out. There it goes. These are a little tired. If you can see it's split right here. It still holds it in all right, um, but it's split over here too. These are ancient. Um, I got new ones. These are pretty cheap. I forget how much, but maybe nine bucks for a set or something or, or each. But I got new ones of these already. We'll put that aside. Don't lose our screws. And now the headlight is free. So this is a new headlight. This is a 12 volt headlight, uh, which I put in a while ago. Um, wiring's not too bad inside. The reflectors are, uh, not the reflector, the, in, the um, inside of the bucket is pretty good. So I'm just gonna pause now so I can use two hands to get that out. Be right back. All right, so now I got the headlight dish out just by backing out the adjuster screws all the way and it's got a spring in there that's what allows keeps tension on it and then there's the wiring i tried to start backing some of these out to take out the headlight bucket and they are in there and i'm afraid that if i get those out the bumper uh, the fender is just going to come apart on me but as you can see they are pretty well rusted in place and this fender is not in the best condition. I mean, it looks good on the outside, but you can see it's pretty chewed up. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. Um, I may just put it on as is for now because the, as I said, the paint is actually pretty good. Um, and I'm just worried if I start taking that apart, there's gonna be all kinds of issues and then I won't be able to use it. So maybe I'll just keep this fender a little while longer. But now I can get at the, the wires and I can take that grommet out, put my new pigtail in there, get that back together. Because again, most of the fender is pretty solid. I mean, you come over here, look at it, it's good. So I think I'll just stick to doing the wiring for today. And that's how you get the headlight apart. Thanks.